Hi, this is Ryan Oakley, and this is the free online course, Create a Gorgeous Website with Squarespace, a step-by-step -step guide for beginners. This is video eight, and in this video, we're gonna be setting up our e-commerce store. So if we go back to our live, um, our live Humans and Nelson website, and I click on the get the book button or book in the navigation bar, it's gonna show a page that um, has my book for sale. And you can see here, people can pick uh, how many they want, go through the purchase and all that stuff. But before we can set up the page, we need to set up um, and get our Squarespace site ready to uh, sell stuff, anything. So let's go back to our page we're working on. We can click on the arrow to get all of our options here. And let's go over to the commerce screen. Squarespace has a getting started um, link and I think we should use it. It gets our all of our stuff kind of set up and ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is add a product to our site. So here's the here's the place you can put in new products. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign. Mine is a physical product. It's a real book. I've got um, about a thousand more of them to sell. I've sold about a thousand already. So I'm gonna click physical book or physical product. I'm gonna upload some images for this book. Just gonna to navigate to where they might be. Let's see, we've got We've got this one. Let's go ahead and use that. The uh, book's name is Humans of Nelson Hardcover Book. The price and variance. Um, the price is going to be $27.95. It's not on sale yet, at some point it will be. I have 1,100 of these books I wanna sell. Weight and dimensions don't really matter because I just have the one product. Um, I'm gonna use flat shipping on it. If I was gonna use um, a shipping service that depended on weight or had multiple products, then, then putting in that information would be um, important. Um, let's go back to item here real quick. So now I'm going to save and publish and get back to the getting started guide. So now I'm gonna create a shipping option. Um, because I am selling a physical good, I need to set that up. Um, so my shipping option is going to be flat rate. So my first one is going to be um, domestic uh, shipping to Canada because I'm in Canada. So I'm actually going to do a fee item of $15 per item. Um, the reason I do the per item instead of the per order is because depending on the number of books that are um, that are ordered, I want the shipping to apply to each book. Otherwise, I could end up losing money. So we're going to do that. When I go under country restrictions, I'm not going to go to the United States. I'm going to go to Canada. So I add that in there. Oop, need to delete the United States first. There you go. And now add Canada. There we go. So that looks good. And I'll go save. And then I'm gonna add another shipping option for the United States and everywhere else in the world. So this is international shipping. And this one's going to be $25 per item. It is a hardcover, kind of a big book, so it's pretty expensive to ship. Uh, so on this one, we're gonna ship to the rest of the world and hit save on that. So that looks good. There's other options for shipping automation. Kind of depends, do you have a big store or not? If you do, you know, you're gonna have to do a little bit of research and, and figure out what the best options for shipping are. I just ship basically out of my, my house. Go back to getting started. We're finished shipping. Now connect to your Stripe account. So um, Stripe is a third party service that allows you to accept credit card payments and kind of make the money thing all work. So uh, you would hit the connect the Stripe account here. So when I hit the connect Stripe account, it automatically recognized that I had a Stripe account existing. 
And so connected it, and now um, my only option is to dis- disconnect it. When you're setting up your um, store, you're going to need to probably create a Stripe account uh, to be able to sell goods through your Squarespace site. So go ahead and do that. It's pretty simple. Um, and then once you're done that, come back to your Squarespace site, and let's finish this off. Uh, very bottom is flip the switch to go live um, when you're ready to... Uh, to start accepting orders immediately. Now we can do this, <clears throat> but keep in mind that if you want to test the um, the checkout process for your customers, um, you're you're going to want to turn your store dead, not live, whatever. Turn the live off, um, and then you're able to do um, tests without getting your credit card charged. Uh, for now, let's just go ahead and make it live. So enable live orders. We'll turn that on. Woohoo! And this just talks about being able to test it. Um, we'll just turn it off, but let's turn it on for now. Might as well. So our store is live. We'll go back to getting started, and our um, our helpful little getting started guide is all done. So that's it for setting up setting up our store. Um, next up is going to be um, creating the book page and getting people to buy the book through it. All right, and see you in the next video.